rather be further out so you could well, see. Well, we're live right now. Well, hello. Um, welcome to Happy Hour at the Dancers. Okay, talk, honey. Let me hear you. Hello? Can, Can you, you guys hear, hear her? What? Um, we're, hello? Can we're drumming up an audience. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. So, hello, guys. How are you? And it's Rick and Kathy Dancer. We're it's it's happy hour at the dancer's house. <clears throat> We're trying something a little different. I'm in the bedroom. Kathy is in the kitchen. So Kathy is so, going to talk, say something. Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear her? Welcome to the kitchen, the dancer's di kitchen. <clears throat> I'm trying it. Um, I'm combining a couple different recipes in my head. One of them I've made before. Can you guys hear me? Hey, Brad from Baker City, Oregon. Can you see the comments, hon? No. Okay, I'll say the comments so you can see them. There's a ton of people on there. Um, okay. We hear and see you both. Okay, so they oh. can hear you. I can't really hear you right now. Huh. So let me try something else. I'm gonna I can hear you because I just hear you through the bedroom. Right, so maybe that's just how that works. Let me try this. Now talk to me. Hello? Okay, now I can. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I'm in your computer. Hi, you guys, how you doing? Happy as all hours. So we're having Bloody Marys. This is kind of our our um, virus drink. It's it's our COVID-19 immunization plan. So we do, Kathy does more like a red beer. Yeah, so, yeah. I, with ice and I guess Rick puts some, um, just a lot of the seasonings that you put in a Bloody Mary, but I just have it with beer. I put my secret stuff in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I am putting in mine um, block 15 out of Corvallis love potion number nine. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a super dark beer and you put that in there. Oh, it's so good. I'm washing from Cresswell. Yeah. You guys, you know, it's kind of fun. Tim Timothy says carrot cake is his favorite. So Kathy made a carrot cake today from scratch and we haven't tasted it. No, I, I'm going to, I'll pick it up and show it. I made it with stevia. So I don't know. I, I've been wanting to try just to kind of get less sugar. So I've been wanting to try a recipe. So I figured maybe carrot cake might be a good one because it's kind of moist. So it turned out a little dark because I don't know, the oven didn't seem to be cooking it very well. So I turned the oven up a little and I don't know, we're going to try it tonight. And I also made icing, which I haven't put on it because it's not quite. So this icing, I guess, tr tr Truvia or however you say it has a, com a convection, um, confection, like powder sugar kind of thing. I couldn't find it. So I actually made regular, um, icing but it's a cream cheese so we're gonna i'm gonna ice it in a little bit and then we're gonna try it tonight and we'll let you know how good it is so honey elijah says stevia is great for baking uh ryan says howdy from bremerton washington okay uh somebody says love dark beer in halfway i made a keto german chocolate cake for my hubby last week that's Ooh. anna was it good uh, Brad says that looks so rich and dark. He's talking about my beer. Um, <laughs> honey, so the, is the frosting cream cheese? Yeah, it's a cream cheese frosting. Yep. And I made it from scratch. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but like I said, I did use regular sugar because I didn't have the right kind. Um, I thought I was going to just use the granulate and that doesn't work. So anyway, we'll see how it tastes. Um, Don says coconut sugar is a great alternative too. And monk fruit sugar bakes oh, better. Oh, I've heard of those. Monk fruit, Anna says, bakes better in her opinion than the stevia. Huh. <clears throat> Where do you get it? Remember they had it at Costco that one time we got right, it. But Where else do you get it, Anna? Um, I bake with CBD oil. So yummy. Huh. Hmm. Wow. Well, that I've, I've never heard of that. So I don't know if you guys watched our show the other night and we had the one where we did all the snacks and I, these um, shiitake mushrooms, they're crispy and they're crunchy and they're seeing, we got them at Costco and just tried them. So I crunched them the minute I tried them. I went, oh my gosh, they'll be so good on top of macaroni and cheese. So I 
took the half, like less than half the bag and I crunched it all up and I'm going to put it on um, some macaroni and cheese I'm making, but I'm kind of mixing it with this other recipe that I have for Brussels sprouts pasta. So I've made this many times before. So what I'm doing is kind of mixing Brussels sprouts with mushrooms and I'm going to made a cheese sauce kind of with it. And then I'm going to put it with the um, pasta. And I did get a whole wheat pasta, so it would be kind of healthy. And Alicia says those mushrooms are amazing. They really are. They're we, so we, good. We love those mushrooms. We're like going, honey, they say you can get it at Safeway, at Walmart, Freddy's. For the Oh, really? Colleen says sugar in the raw and palm sugar work really well too. Liquid stevia at natural grocers. I, oh, Jason James, I smoke joints all day. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, stoner. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go off screen. I got to get my. Okay, so how your day's going? How, how things? Um, I had some questions I thought I'd throw out here. So I said Kathy's making macaroni and cheese on steroids. Um, homemade carrot cake recipe, and we're going to post the recipe when we're done, but they won't let you on this new program do it ahead of time. So, yeah, we'll let you know how it tastes, but I don't know, my first attempt. So the question is, so what's something good that's come out of the reaction to this virus that gives you hope? Mm. That's what I'm looking for from you guys. Oh, Destin, honey, Destin says um, agave nectar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Destin, I heard that you have a new barber. <laughs> and I heard that he's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> but he's really expensive. I heard a haircut's like 200 bucks. Rick Dancer, CBD has completely taken all opiate medications for pain out of my life. That's awesome. That's Nick, honey, my buddy Nick. Oh, okay. So you do the CBDs and you don't have to do any opiates, and that's kind of how everything gets screwed up on there. I hope you're doing well, man. Colleen, I made carrot cake just the other day, and she uses, we should ground up the carrots too. I'm making teriyaki chicken with rice. What are the rest of you guys having for dinner? <clears throat> my friend put tomato juice in her carrot cake. What? Whoa, that sounds different. Is that legal? So De Destin says his new barber, he sucks. Gonna <laughs> have to shave my head. Wow. You know, it says a lot about somebody who would trust somebody who doesn't know anything about barbering to cut their hair. I'm just saying, a sucker is born every day. Brad says, Baker City, zero cases, God country, safe, loving it. Well. <laughs> Yeah, well, we we have less than we have fewer than fifty cases in Lane County, a positive, and one death. Um, so I think yeah, and Baker Baker County, Wallowa County doesn't have any. Uh, Harney County has none. Lake County has none. Um, Gillum, and I think Sherman. I think those are the counties that don't have anything at all. Uh, Paula is going. Breeder Brothers did our cooking today. What, they just come to your house and do that with masks or something? How does that work? Who? Who was it? They got Burrito Boys brothers. Oh, yeah. They probably went and picked it up. Take Deborah it. says, since I've been retired for four years, COVID has not affected me at all to say I've gotten anything from it. However, I do miss socializing with my friends at the pub once in a while. On a retirement budget, I don't go out that much. Yeah, I miss being around people and hanging out with folks. Yep. Uh, Nikki says Lake County zero two. Sorry. Marlene, what do you call a line of rabbits walking backwards? <laughs> um, is it hip hop? You're gonna have to answer. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, Chad in Arizona is having Thai chicken curry. Yum. Jason bought a face mask to wear at the grocery store so I don't get judged getting my groceries or yelled at. <laughs> I got one for you that says fuck COVID-19 on it if you want it. Uh, picked up. Destin says, can't wait to see the video. I'm sure you're going to have to edit the crap out of it. Worth every penny. That's a project. We can't talk about that openly now. 
We cheated and made yum bowls today. Bring on the carbs for the day. Tomorrow back to normal. We love Kathy and uh, that's like our kids' favorite thing. We used to go buy the yum sauce from Cafe Yum and then yeah. Kathy. We just make it up ourselves because it was a lot cheaper. But oh yeah, we love that stuff. <clears throat> Marlene says a receding hairline. What are you talking about? Not me. I don't have a receding hairline. Oh, you mean Destin? <laughs> <laughs> David Hoskins, hi from Portland. Back home in Springfield after eight years on the road. Love following. Thanks, David. We'd like having you aboard. Mm -hmm. um, Davina, I miss being able to see my family in Reedsport. Uh, receding hairline for the joke. Ashley, smoking pizza on the pellet grill smoker. Oh, that sounds really good. Yum. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now what was the punchline? So the punchline is the bunnies. So what was the original? Hold on. Hold on. I got to go back up here. What do you call Robert's back? Rabbits walking backwards. <laughs> bunnies. The backwards. The backward bunnies in a row. That's funny. Okay. I don't get that one. Hey, Rick, you get to bake. You get to Baker, come out to the Medical Springs. We have hot springs there. You can swim in the pool. Where is that, Brad? Where? In Baker? Mm hmm It says the Medical Springs. We have a hot springs there. You can swim in the pool. Brad, would you send me an email? Because we're coming to Baker over Labor Day weekend. We're already booked. Um, <clears throat> we would love to come see that. Is that private? Is that just yours? Hey, Becky from Halfway. Oh, my God. We love Halfway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. We love Halfway. We've heard about Halfway for so many years because um, Rick's sister and brother-in-law go there and they hunt and they always go and Joseph and that whole area. And we hear all about that. And it kind of had it all built in my head that it was this like dinky little town. And then when we went there this last, was it last last while well, we've been there twice, twice. Now. anyway it is the most darling town we love it there this, so, this, nice. so nice this last time we went back we walked into the bar in town and everybody knew us <laughs> and they're like going rick kathy you're back it's like man i would live that way if i could Jennifer says, I hope people recognize we have more com in common than we have differences to enable us to move forward, forming unity and world peace. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but I sure like that. Yeah. So, honey, it's hairline. Bunnies walking back, rabbits walking backwards. It's a hairline. Oh, that <laughs> a receding hairline. Oh, oh God. I got you. you know, I'm sorry. I've had, I've had a Bloody Mary, so maybe I don't understand it. Dana Dancer Vandekubering. What the <laughs> hell? You guys, this is my little sister. That's my little sister. Like, she says, we sure do. You were talking about them in Halfway. That's how we found Halfway. Oh, she heard me. Yeah. She heard you. Kathy is awesome, Michael says. Nikki, buddy, I just took a healthy dose of CBD oil. And her husband, Darren, are local dealers. They are my family life Bible church. They produce comes from a large spectrum. That's awesome. So it's got no drug in it, but it's got all the stuff you need. I love Baker did the Hell's Canyon motorcycle rally six years ago. Yeah, we love just anything over there. God, anything. Yeah. Hello, Donna. Hey, Rick and Kathy. Enjoy your happy hour. She's mm -hmm. Donna's, honey, Donna's our Arkansas lady who gave us the Razorback shirts. Oh, yeah. We love those. Both Thanks. of us have worn them. They're great. They but we don't wear them at the same time. No. Rick no. didn't want to wear them I, at the same I time. I have a thing about that. I had a, a woman I used to work with, <laughs> and she said to her daughter as they got older, if we ever wear matching shirts at the same time, just shoot us and kill us right there. Don't ask us any questions <laughs> because we'll rationalize it and say that it's okay, and it's not. So I can't. I never can do that. Um, David worked in Baker it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Find the old homesteads. Yeah, my mom's family is from Haynes, Oregon, which is right near there. Hold on, Dana. I'm trying to get you on there. Here we go. Hi, Annie and I are here. Well, hello, Annie. How's oh, Annie. the baby? Uh, does that make me like a great, am I a great uncle when you have your baby? Or great, great uncle. A great, I'm just a great uncle because I'm so, Kathy and I are so young and sparkling. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> Ashley, have a great night. See you later. 
receding hairline. I know it took us a while. You're not dealing with the smartest people. <laughs> Kathy, um, Kathy, Michael Newman wants to know if you have curbside pickup for your meals. Say it again. Oh, you, curbside pickup. <laughs> yeah. Um, Michael, no, don't bother stopping by. There's not going to be any leftovers. Bloody Mary and dark beer, the bomb. Becky, I'm with you, girl. That's what it looks like. When you can't see the red and the tomato anymore, you know you got enough beer in it. Maybe someone in Baker will be nice enough to donate some land to you. I would, I, yeah, I could go to Baker. <laughs> Dead Ox Ranch is an old hom homestead. Hey, Deborah, would, it, it, is that a place where people can go? Because if that is, um, if you would send us an email at rick at rickdancer.com, that'd be super cool. Um, we would love to visit. We're going to be back there. Oh, she says, I'm the greatest uncle. Someone's trying to kiss Uncle Rick's ass, I think. Because <laughs> because you know what? There's a gift, two gifts for you, for the baby, right out there in the hallway. Oh, yeah. Right now. I just got to figure a way to get them to you because they are kind of, it's kind of big to mail. So. And, and, and there's another $500 cash value reward for being your favorite uncle. So we'll just have to see. I put that out to Jill too. We'll see what Jill says because my other sister's da uh, daughter-in-law is having a baby. So, you know, you got to use your you got to use your currency where you can. So, you know, that I accept bribes and gifts. So, holy shit! I don't know how to say your name, Ekla Toman. Hi there, Mr. Rick. Are you from Nigeria? Is she your wife? Yeah, and you can't have her. She's. 40 years, my wife, or 37. When you get to be someone's great, great, great anything, you're simply awesome, like my hubby's awesome, great, great, great <laughs> Aunt Florence. I bet she is awesome. It's a medical hot springs my great, great grandpa found in 1868. Lots of history there. So are you is still... It is it open to the public or is it just is it just private? like a private thing? Oh, my God, Brad, you got to call us. Yeah, if, that'd be awesome. that's private... And I promise to tell only like 10 million people where it is. I want to go anywhere where the pollen count is low. God, isn't that the thing? Everybody's talking about the virus and I wake up and I have a sore throat, my eyes and all that stuff. And then by the end of the day, I'm better. Um, Why? Because you've had a beer, honey? Well, by five o'clock, I'm better because tomato juice and dark beer is an allergy relief. Mm. While Nick is doing his CBDs, I'm having a beer. Boy, that's really loud when you do that, hon. So what is the key, honey? What? What is the key to good macaroni and cheese? Um, <clears throat> having enough cheese and not having it dry. So I don't know. I'm a little worried because I made this up as I went along tonight. So I poured some wine. <laughs> And some, oh my god, I mixed some wine and some, um, <laughs> some Durano. No, 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 no. And Dijon mustard, and then I poured that on top in it too, with along with all the cheese that I'm putting on. Just because I can't, I don't like it dry to me. I want it to be gooey and yummy, so we'll see. So, so I'm like an experiment, yeah. So, Tonight. my guy, Mr. Elijah, is from Nigeria and a fan from on Instagram. Well, it's oh. good to have you on here, my man. You found us. That's great. So, Bradley, he came on the Oregon Trail and found it. Is it on his property? You really seriously have to let me know about this um, because if we come out there, ban that dude. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. A good white sauce. Somebody says, uh, Marlene says, a good white says. And Elijah says, I hope you don't have coronavirus. No, nope. <laughs> if I do, I'm not sick, so I don't know about it. So maybe I have the antibody. So I'm doing fine. Uh, Darcy Hall says, Rick is a guinea pig. <laughs> but Eric Strand, Strand, Strandard, how do you say your name, uh, Eric? Excuse me. That sounds aw He thinks it sounds awesome, honey. Well, okay. My wife always, she makes stuff and she never thinks it's going to be good. And all of her men, that's me, Jake, and Jesse, our two boys, we always like it. 
<clears throat> well, Jake's mostly likes it. My homemade macaroni and cheese starts with a delicious white sauce. So we are having white, it is a white sauce, right? Yeah, well, it, yeah, it basically is. I mean, I know how to make a white sauce. I just kind of started it by near, like uh, sauteing mushrooms and um, Brussels sprouts because I'm mixing two recipes together. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure it'll taste fine. I just not sure about the consistency of it since I've never made it quite like this. So honey, Michael Newman says the OLCC has just called him wondering how large of a stash of adult beverages we have. How many, what's it, what are they asking? The stat, how much of a stash of adult beverages do we have? Oh. Brad, or Michael, I, I can't answer that because <laughs> um, um, they have our address. Um, actually, I am a, a fully licensed liquor um, establishment, but we only serve to private parties. Uh, Elijah B, careful, Mr. Dancer. Most guys use you for scam. Uh, yeah, we know that. Um, <clears throat> a lot of gentlemen in Nigeria are using my picture to scam women out of money, and we know of one woman on my page who's lost $75,000 um, we've had men attaching my face to their naked bodies. We just got a call from a friend of ours today who said, thought that Kathy and I had split up because my name and my picture is on a dating site. So we have hired a company for thousands of dollars to uh, try to help clean this up. So Elijah, we know that that is going on. I would hope and pray and trust that you are not one of them, but yeah, it's a pretty shitty deal. And we are not happy about it at all. <clears throat> um, yeah, Jason, I, yeah, you know. <laughs> Dijon and the mac and cheese sounds like it would be really tasty. So Elizabeth, honey, thinks you're on to something. Well, we'll tell them. We'll let them know tomorrow. <laughs> so Kathy's in our kitchen and I'm in our bedroom. So, Hang on just a second. What? So that's our bed. It's like two doors. See the, the footboard? And the headboard, if I could show it, are both old doors. Oh, okay. And then these pillars on the on the edge, they're like that. God, it's hard to do that. Those are from an old church, like a stairway that went down a church. And uh, <clears throat> I know, Davina, isn't that grr? Yeah, so that's from an old church, and we had that made into a bed. So, well, it's been great having you guys along. Um Honey? Yeah. So we're going to go because we're taking tomorrow off. We are not doing any work tomorrow. We're not going to do any work, right? Well, we're going to probably work out, but we're not going to do any work. Sure. That sounds good. And I don't it's know gonna, what we're going to do, but we're going to rain all weekend. Do. Yeah, we'll find something. So we'll um, let you guys know how the macaroni and cheese with Brussels sprouts turned out and also how the cake, the Truvia carrot cake tastes. So Brad just said, honey, you both made my day today. I've been struggling. Mm. We know what that's all about. Have our moments for sure. Definitely um, have our moments. Uh, oh, Christina, don't bother showing up. Christina LaBrassiere, honey, she says, oh, I'm on my way, sounds yummy. Um, don't don't, don't bother showing up, Christy. We, we have a Chrissy monitor out front, and it blares. <laughs> it blares country music, country gospel music when you show up, and we know when, you're, when your little pink Jeep's going by the driveway, we hear it. <laughs> we love her. She's like our daughter, except we're way too young. I mean, God, we have just hit our 40s. Sure. <laughs> sure. So if any of you guys did give us story ideas or something, please let us know. Uh, not so, ooh, I just love your exercise videos on Instagram. I saw a different account. That is why I ask. Okay, I'm just going to trust you, Elijah, that you're not one of them, okay? Jill Purcell says, I love you both. Oh, hi, Jill. Elijah says, goodbye. God, you guys are fast in here. These are coming through. I like the split screen. I used to go to school with a kid who used to live in your, ho live in your house. Who is that? Hmm. Oh, you mean before, like before we owned it? 
Obviously. I'd like to know information. Well, I'd like to know if we're looking for an old picture of our house from people like old families that used to live here, the lions and people like that. Yeah, we, um, we would love to know that. Brad, thank you. God bless you too, man. See you later. Mm -hmm. um, I've been struggling too. Davina, just hang in there. We're all going to be fine. Have a great evening, says Chris. Hey, Chris, my man. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I got to feed the horses. I will honk and wave. But just <laughs> don't. Don't throw things out the window like you did last time. Uh, we got cameras in the trees. We <laughs> have a great weekend. Okay. Hello from Roseburg. Bye, Ashley. Bye, you guys. I have a book for Bye, both of you. Everyone. I will send it to you. Okay. Brad, send me an email, rick at rickdancer.com. I'll give I'm, you my address and all that screen. stuff. I'm heading okay. out. I all right. It. Here, I will get rid of you. There, I'll put you out of there. I want to come visit after crazy time. We'll do it. All right, you guys, um, share this with other people who just want to have fun. Um, there's too much bad stuff going on that we, you know, how do you manage your fear? It's a choice. And uh, we get to all do that. Hi, Laura from Baker. All right. Bye, Dana. We love you, too. Both of you. All right. See you guys later. I'm going to go get a beer. <laughs>